What is a labyrinth? A labyrinth is a circular walking path. There is one way in and one way out, and it's the same way. It's not meant to fool you, and it's not meant to confuse you. But if you are faithful to the path, it will lead you to the center. To have a labyrinth at Wisdom House is truly a dream come true. The desire goes back to 1993. The reality of building one goes back to the fall of 1996. And in 1997, the spring of 1997, on the Feast of Our Lady of Wisdom, June 8th, we dedicated the labyrinth. Labyrinths have an ancient history found in cultures as diverse as the Hindu and the Hopi the labyrinths have been a time-honored tool for contemplation and merging art and survival. Highly symbolic, they represent the archetypal feminine, the spiraling circle, and the non-lineal way. The many turns to the left and right reinforce integration of left and right hemispheres of the brain. The labyrinth, a rich symbol for a spiritual quest, is also a physical journey. <laughs> During the Middle Ages, Christians who could not make a pilgrimage to Jerusalem walked labyrinths that were built into the floor of cathedrals. The labyrinth is a symbol of life's journey and our spiritual quest. As we walk through life, we walk a holy path. The scriptures refer to this walk in several ways. In the book of Exodus, we read, So God led the people by the roundabout way of the wilderness. In the 25th Psalm, we have a good walking prayer. The Psalm says, Make me know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. The prophet Isaiah wrote, And when you turn to the right and turn to the left, your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way. Walk it. Some have walked carrying burdens. Some have walked because of great joys in their life. Some have walked because of birthdays or anniversaries. Some even walked when illness had struck their lives. Some walked with questions and some even found answers. We've had the opportunity to provide labyrinth programs for youth over the years. We usually ask them after their experience to finish this very short sentence, as I walked. And this is what some eighth graders said a few weeks ago. As I walked, I felt calm and centered. As I walked, I felt peaceful. As I walked, I thought about my brother, and I realized that I usually don't think of other struggles unless they affect me directly. Some teens who walked the labyrinth recently have said, I felt I was doing something with God and with nature. The cool air and then walking helped make things more clear to me. Some of the younger children who have walked the labyrinth, when we brought the labyrinth to local schools, some have been too young to write words, and so we've asked them to draw pictures. And many of them draw, drew pictures of their pets or people in their family that they loved. I'll always remember a little child who, who drew a picture of her grandmother who was in a wheelchair. Ten years ago, when we dedicated the labyrinth, I told the people who gathered here that I had received a note from a 93-year-old woman by the name of Marie O'Day. Marie wrote to us and sent a, dip, a, a donation for one of the bricks that are in the labyrinth. And she said, even though I can't be there, I felt that I've already walked this labyrinth because I traced it with my finger in the design you sent me in the mail. <laughs> Thank you.
are here, I'd like to join and ask you to join in a blessing. And I will mention the, the names or the purpose of the blessing, and I will end with, we send a blessing. And at that point, if you would all drum, John, if you would lead us in drumming, okay? So, we pray in this place for hope and peace in the lives of all who have walked and who will walk this labyrinth. For them, we send a blessing. And again, we pray and send a blessing to Barbara Putnam, the architectural landscape designer of this labyrinth, and to all who made this labyrinth possible through their volunteer work. For them, we send a blessing. Remember our first volunteers, the Evans family, Lee Ellingwood, Trisha Pierce, Elaine Frost, Bill Slavinsky, and many other friends of Wisdom House who helped put this labyrinth in our ground. For them and to them we send a blessing. our donors and those who gave and who continue to give their time to weed and to care for this labyrinth. To them we send a blessing. Now if you would extend your hands out, we dedicate once again this labyrinth to people of goodwill who search for wisdom, for justice, and for peace in their lives and who try to put that into our world. Amen. Amen. Amen.